Yes, the best thing for you would be me. Oh, I hardly concur. Matt Cole. The days are flying by around us. The lively one. W-I-B-C. Seven and a half minutes past one o'clock now. And this is Bob Morrison here most all night, most every night. Be around till 5.30 this morning with music. When you turn out the lights and you sit in the dark and say to yourself, I'm in. Yes, love, you know what to be Temperature reading right now is 37 degrees. 30, yeah, 37 and cloudy. <laughs> Let's start all over again. 37 degrees and clear. At cloudy inside. And it's to be partly cloudy and cool through Tuesday. Down to a low tonight of somewhere between 29 and 34. Rising with a Riley this afternoon of between 42 and 47. It's 11 and a half minutes past one on the night flight. And this is Bob Morrison, still here. We'll be until 5.30. The Man Ray Bryant. Page of... University of Texas at Arlington led from the first basket in overtime to capture an 87-82 decision over our Butler Bulldogs tonight. Baskets by Billy Shepard and Kent Errett in the final 21 seconds of regulation time brought us from behind to not the count at 74 all, and then the Bulldogs' top scorer Oscar Evans missed the first of a bonus free throw situation. Five seconds remaining to throw the game into overtime. So, uh, yeah, we've had our kind of a rough season. It's our 11th loss in 14 games. So, uh, them, 87, Butler, 82. Vincennes University, the nation's top-ranked junior college basketball team, powered past Ohio Valley College, 87-72 to 72 at Parkersburg, West Virginia. So the victory leaves the Trail Blazers a 12-0 season record. Notre Dame grabbed a 5-4 hockey victory over Cornell at South Bend. Paul Reagan scored the winning goal with 51 seconds gone in an overtime period. Hey, don't forget the, the big IU-Purdue battle for the WIBC Flying Purple Puck Coming up uh, next Sunday. Yeah, that'll be... That's good hockey. Annual collegiate hockey battle. Uh, have the special exhibition game. Be the first and second periods. Pitting the Indianapolis media against the politicians. And it's shaping up to be a real, genuine... Um, fiasco. I think it really is. Have some bowling scores for you later on. Yeah, there was quite a bit of bowling action last night. Boxing World Heavyweight Champion Joe Frazier is predicting a knockout victory over Terry Daniels in Saturday night's title fight in New Orleans. <laughs> he was asked to be more specific when he was, when he was going to knock Terry Daniels out, and Frazier said, well, somewhere between the first and 15th rounds. <laughs> okay. It's 18 past 1 o'clock now on the night flight. I can't forget this evening. Pretty music by Nilsson. People listen to WIBC. And WIBC listens to people. Because they were deprived. <laughs> they got a song about it. What was it? And West Side Story Depraved on account of we're deprived? Peter, Paul, and Mary. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. 